Hi everybody, Jordan Steel 88 with another video. So the title of this video, Steelers vs. Cowboys Game Recaps, so let's get into it. Oh man, I am so irritated about this game last night. So Steelers lose 20-17 to to the Cowboys. And I gotta tell you man, you might have to lower y'all headphones because I'm going to be loud. Because, oh my god, because this game has me irritated. We waited an hour and 30 minutes for us to lose this game? Because of that rain delay? Really, Steelers? Really? What on earth was that? I mean, I'm going to talk about the game summary. Hey, but in the, in, the, in the first quarter, on our first drive, we went down and got three points. I mean, Darnell Washington should have caught that ball. Connor Hayward should have caught that ball. These guys had, we had so many drop passes more than anything in this game. I mean, and since that, since we get we got three points, we had to punt the ball more times than anything. Probably like about three times on the in the first half, about twice in the second half. I mean, the defense is, it has done a pretty good job, though. Even though the Cowboys have punted like once in this game. For, for, for the looks of it, but... And and we got about um, and then um and then Dante Jackson who got a second interception in the game got it um gave a single interception to stop the Cowboys going up by ten points, and then Nick I mean T J Watt they before that I mean after that T J Watt what am I gonna talk about in a little bit in this video he he got a fourth fumble sack and then Nick Herbert recovered it and stopped him getting any points. In the first half, it's that the offense gonna do nothing in the first half. Ever since they got up, they get get they got three points, two mean three and outs, <clears throat> and then just and then Justin Fields recovered that fumble that could have been could have been disaster. And then on the second half, the offense was marching down the field and scored it. And then um, Justin Fields hits corner hit with that touchdown that give us the lead. And then, I mean, the defense, um, they did a pretty good job in the first in the first half not allowing any touchdowns. And then, it's just, a, just and in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter, they just imploded, man. They just straight imploded in the first, in the second half, down the stretch. I mean, I mean, the offense just could have increased their lead. I mean, after uh, we, we blocked that field goal, it looked like we're going to score a touchdown to get, get us a lead, but George Pickens dropped that third down pass. That that could have been a first down. We could have got at least a field goal or something like that. But now nah, we got we got a three and out. Because our defense was worn down. Our defense looked tired at times. All the time, well, especially down the stretch, excuse me. But man, our defense couldn't make plays when it mattered. Yes, Joy Porter got that interception. His second in his career. And we got and we got a touchdown to take the lead, but the defense just couldn't hold on to that lead. They just couldn't they just couldn't stop the, that Prescott down the stretch. Because that Prescott was tearing them up down the stretch. I mean, when Nick Herbert got hurt, man, our offense, our pass rush has not been explosive at all. And we give up that game winning touchdown with 20 seconds left. And we don't have a timeout to do anything. I mean, this this loss, man, is just irritating. This loss is painful, especially to the Cowboys. And I, I and I hate losing to the Cowboys. I hate losing to them. It's like I, it's like we always lose to the Cowboys, but I just hate losing to this team. Cause I got cousins who are Cowboy fans. I got friends who are Cowboy fans. Yeah, they're laughing, they're trolling, and they that they're teasing us and all that type of stuff, and rightfully so. So, hey, and Najee and, and Najee Harris, oh my God, this guy has no burst at all. He is slow. No, no wonder why the uh, front office didn't give him a fourth year option. But they get Pat move, fired with a new extension. Najee Harris is no longer we no longer on his team next season. 
He's no longer on it. Yes, we, we're five games in with 12 left. But this but this bum is not going to be no, no longer on our team next year. I guarantee that. And Benny Bishop, oh, he sucks. Benny Bishop is garbage. He is garbage. We need Cam Sutton back ASAP. Because Benny Bishop is terrible. He gets burnt way too often. I mean, he allows so much. And then Mika Fitzpatrick, man, I'm not going to kill him, though. Because Mika Fitzpatrick has not had an interception in the last two years. Prophetic. Absolutely Prophetic. Jordan Porter Jr. is doing what he could. What he could. Dante Jackson's doing what he could. It says that the weak link to the secondary is Benny Bishop. And Patrick Queen is not playing like he was in Baltimore. And, and I understand, and understandably so. This is ridiculous and absolutely my favorite performance I've ever seen. It's like the Steel Twins would, the Steel Twins would say, same old Steelers. And they're right. I don't get this type of stuff at all. It irritates me to lose to teams like this. You think the Colts game was a trap game? Now this game turns out to be a trap game because the Dallas Cowboys were missing two of their important players on defense and we didn't take advantage of it. Now you hear it's going to do a thing, like I said before. George Pickens. Non factor. This guy has um, three receptions of 26 yards. And then that Prescott, man, I give it to him, but that Prescott, he tore us up down the stretch. That Prescott tore us up down the stretch. 26, 29 for 42, 352 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. We, had, we forced three turnovers and only had seven points off turnovers. Ridiculous. That Rico, uh, the, the Dale dude, if I say his name right, he was tearing us up, man. He had 20 carries, 20, 20 carries 87 yards. And receiving Bryce, he only got two receptions, 27 yards, one touchdown. That Jalen Torber dude, he was tearing us up, man. He tore us up in this game. C.D. Lamb only had five receptions, 62 yards. We did a pretty good job on C.D. Lamb at times. Right receivers couldn't do it, couldn't couldn't do a damn thing. Cause the only guys who were doing something were um Pat Fire Move and um and Connor Hayward, I think. Yeah. Not Connor Hayward, but and no no receiver on this team got over fifty yards for the Steelers. None. Whatsoever. Ridiculous. We only allowed two sacks. They only about three, and we only and we only have um, and we only put and of course of course Waitman pointed five times. We we just let our defense off the hook, man. Just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It's just it's just ridiculous, ridiculous performance by the Pittsburgh Steelers on prime time. Wait it. Hour 30 minutes because of that rainstorm we had last night. Ridiculous. Absolutely prophetic. Cowboy fans, hey, congratulations on your win, man. Congratulations on your win. Congrats. So, so still is, man, it's back to the drawing board. We got to get back to the drawing board and, and, get, and get our shit together. And I don't like to say it's my time, man. You ain't shit, dog. You ain't. My time ain't shit. R. Smith, man, you need to let Justin Fields loose, man. And I don't like to say this, though. I think it's Russell Wilson time. I'm sorry. And I'm I'm sorry. I think Russell Wilson deserves to be a starting quarterback going into to the Las Vegas Raiders game. I'm sorry. No disrespect to Justin Fields, but he still needs a little bit more work on reading coverages and all that stuff. And Warren Wilson needs to be back at some point. He needs to be back in here at some point this season. He's not hurt. He's not on the injury report. 
it don't make no sense him not be on the injury report and don't have him play. He needs to be in there. Because he could be a game changer to our Steelers offense. And again, Cordell Paris and Jeremy Warren Becker help, help this running game. Because Najee Harris ain't doing shit. So. I, I, I've had enough, man. Hey, let me know what you think down in the comment section down below what you think about this recap I just talked about. Because this is a prophetic performance by this team. Got to get this shit together. That's all for this video, man. Like I said before, Cowboy fans, congratulations on your win. And you and you win. And y'all got a pretty good team, though. I feel our Steelers just underestimated y'all, though. So congratulations on your win. Good luck the rest of your season. Just you just can't be a team that was wounded. They miss a fourth. They miss a, they miss an, and they, and they miss a Michael Parsons and Dorcas Lawrence, two of their best players on the team, and you can't do anything about it. You can't take advantage of that. Pointless coaching staff. So, yeah, man. One more time, Cowboy fans. Congratulations on y'all win. Good luck the rest of y'all season. I know y'all laughing, trolling, and all that type of stuff, and rightly so. So, hey. So, that's all for this video. This is Jordan Steel 88. See you guys in my next video. There'll be no, here we go, Steel, here we go.